I mean, you know the reason why he's on the show, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I mean, this guy's like a joke. He's he's special needs. He fills our quota. I'm aware. Whoa. Just keep going. Okay. Anyway, there they are, Ollie. You know, they're they're really great people to you, and, and yet you yell at them for no reason. Why is that? Ollie. I know. It's not really their fault. It's just. I know, you just hate Christmas. But that doesn't mean you should alienate the people that care about you most. Seriously, again with caring for him, Todd? What would, would you please, for the love of God, and your own body, just keep going? Fine! Anyway, you shouldn't be upset with them. But you know something? Even though you were rude, it didn't even faze them. Listen, because they don't care. Dude, what was wrong with Ollie? I don't know. Something about Christmas sets him off. You know, you should have been there last year. He showed up at my parents' house, stinking drunk. He had pissed his pants and forgot who he was. It was really a sight to behold, I tell you. I'm worried about him. Why? This is not me. I'm this not isn't really healthy personally. behavior, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Just enjoying what's left of my denial. Unfortunately, I've already given up on the other one over there. How you doing, Mr. Wills? Ah, the French champagne. Ah, the French. He's already gone. Well, I wish Ollie would come out here and hang out with us. It is the Christmas party after all, and that will be my pity gift of the year. Yeah, I mean, he can be a douche if he wants, but be a douche with your extended family. I know. I agree. But I think it's best we let him, uh, for now, just let him be. But let's have a toast to Ollie, the greatest weirdo in the world. Everyone, to Ollie. To, to Ollie. Ollie. I, never, I don't know Ollie personally. Well, you know. You so see, Ollie, your friends care a great deal about you, and they want you to enjoy the holidays as much as they can. Seriously. Uh, you know, none of us are big fans of the holidays, right? I mean, how can I say this stuff live on air in front of people who are giving them the wrong impression? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, you really stepped outside our reality. Just finish the play. I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Ollie, the point is, can he not go home? No. The point is, they want you to be happy on the holidays. He may not have your grandfather or your wife or anybody else anymore. Or but your dog. you do have great people you can stand from a distance and watch. Like yeah, Russia. well, right. doesn't matter. <laughs> they can't change my pain. No one can. How am I supposed to be all happy and giddy and, oh, I love Christmas. I just can't do it, okay? Hey. Where'd you go? Where'd everybody go? What's going on? Where... Where am I? Ollie! Holy God, what was that? It is I, the thing that all men fear. I am the ghost of Christmas future. Dear God, you are one scary mother Why, thank you. Now come with me. You will see what the future holds if you don't change your ways. I got the voice time. Are you ready to get jiggy, Knoxville? Orson Welles is here to take you back to the decade when the government had a surplus, the internet was being born, and you talk to your friends instead of texting them. It's time for Smells Like 90s Rock. Rosebud. On your mark, ready, set, let's go. Hello, I'm Orson Welles. What follows is a terrifying journey into the world of magic, mystery, probate, beneficiaries, and Mrs. Pell's fish sticks. Oh my god! Because of your hatred of Christmas and the happiness that it brings, you eventually left the show, bringing down the morale of Sheila and Hot Toddy. They were so distraught that they decided to give it up, and then Orison Wells took it over. If you thought no one listened before, well, let's just say he helped double that audience. I can't believe that things would get that bad! Oh, but it does, Ollie, and that's not all. There is some good news. Hot Toddy did decide to stay and do one other thing that you were involved with, but your replacement is, well, take a look. Scott Stapp. Scott Stapp. Smells Like 90s Rock presents the Staff Report, a segment dedicated to extremely professional and hard-hitting journalism. Reports on headlines straight off the news sticker through the eyes of Scott Stapp. And now... The Stapp Report. 
Hello and welcome to the Staff Report. I'm Hot Toddy. Today we have a huge story going on in Washington, and we don't want to waste any more time. We're going to switch it to Scott Stapp, who is in the nation's capital right now. Scott, what's going on? Right now, I'm under some kind of pretty vicious attack. Uh, I still haven't figured out the reasons why, except that about eight weeks ago, I began an audit of not only my record company, but my personal finances. Uh, During the course of that audit, uh, a lot of things were uncovered. Uh, A lot of money was stolen from me, or royalties not paid, Uh, and that's when all hell began to break loose. Ah, all right then. Thank you, Scott, that's, yeah. What? Are you kidding me? Scott's dead? How the hell? Why the hell was he chosen to be my replacement? That doesn't make any sense. And really? That was the best they could do? Well, I mean, come on. You're not much better. Now see here! Never mind! Point is, when you left, the entire Smells Like 90s Rock Empire suffered. Do you really want that to happen? Of course not. I never wanted any of this to happen. Scott, can you tell us what the president is doing at this moment? Right now I'm living in a Holiday Inn, by the grace of God, because there's been uh, a couple weeks where I had to sleep in my truck. Uh, I had no money, not even for gas or food. Uh, I went two days without eating, uh, because I had no money, and uh, ended up in an emergency room. Oh dear God. I'm sorry, Hattati. I'm sorry. Come. We still have one last thing to see. Where are we? What is this? It's Sheila! Hey, Sheila! Sheila, what's going on? Wait, there's a coffin! Oh no! Hot Toddy, he's... He's dead! Why did this have to happen? You know, when I get back, I'll... Oh, wait a minute, there he is! Hot Toddy! Well, are you ready? Yeah, I think so. I'm just so... I know, I know. Uh, me too. I, I'm, uh, I'm gonna miss him. Me too. All right, chuck him in the ground. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I love this. I get to play the priest. It's neat. What fun. I didn't even know Ollie was Catholic. Go figure. Just burn him, for God's sakes. Right, right, sorry. Well, God, he's dead now. We're gonna burn him. Sorry, Ollie. Amen. Why are you showing me this? Box lies Oliver O. Oliver! It's FYI, that's all his full name. Oh my god, no, no, don't let him do this. Hot Toddy, Sheila, please help me. No, no, don't let him burn me. Please don't let him burn me. Oh god, no, 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 please. I want to live. I want to live. I want to love and laugh and listen and live. Please, God, make it stop. I want to live. Ollie, what the hell, man? I'm alive! Oh man, what a break! I'm alive! This is so great, I'm so happy! Are you drunk? Yes, Sheila, I am. I'm drunk. I'm drunk on life. Woo! This is awesome! Whatever he's had, I don't really want it. He sounds dumb. Really. Ollie, knock it off! What's with you? First you bite our heads off for having some Christmas fun, then you come out here screaming like a lunatic. What's with you, man? Only good stuff, Hot Toddy. I get it now, guys. I know why Christmas is a good thing. I get why we should try and be happy around this time of year. It's not about presents or songs. It's about getting together with the people most important in your life and spending quality time. It was silly of me to act the way I did and have for the last few years during Christmas. Just because that bitch of an ex-wife walked out on me for no good damn reason. I mean, my God, I gave that woman everything. And what does she do? Walk out. Do you know what a huge pain on my butt that's been? I mean, my God, it's been... But the point is, you've realized that it's silly to let things in the past ruin what you have now. That's right. You have us now, and your life has a meaning again, maybe more than it ever has. And now that you've realized this, you want to start enjoying Christmas again. And to sweeten the pot, you get to do that with us. Nothing is more important than the simple act of people getting together. What is a gonk? Do you mind telling me what that is? Uh, yeah. You guys 
absolutely right. I'm ready now. I'm ready to embrace Christmas and all it has to offer. And I get to do it with all of you. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas, Ollie. Merry Christmas, Ollie. Are we done? I gotta pee. And Ollie lived happily ever after. Thanks for listening. Merry Christmas. We're sorry. Sorry. <laughs>